Hey, good people. It's Sorrel Brand. I have your friendly neighborhood content strategist, and I am back for another episode. Still guess, feels kind of funny saying episode, but I'm back for another chance, another video, another edition of um, how to be a well-paid freelance writer. I'm doing this, as you may know already, I'm doing this because I know that things are hard out there. I'm seeing like the prices go up. Um, I put a video up about how mad I was when the egg price of eggs went up 75%. So I know that people are in need of ways to make more money without necessarily having to leave your job and without having to get a second job. I get that. My kids are homeschooled. Thank God for Kira, my daughter, <laughs> my 20 year old daughter who homeschools my, my, her younger sisters. She is a Zuku star, rock star, rock star. But I get it. Like you, you, you don't, a lot of us can't, our kids are too small for us to just leave them home alone for another set of hours throughout the course of the day or whatever the case may be. So I'm trying to offer you an opportunity to make money in, a, in another way. And that's through freelance writing. Um, I've been a freelance writer for since 2010. Not only that, but in my nine to five job, I am also, I also oversee the, the content department, which means I hire the freelance writers that we bring on to create our content. So I am speaking from a place of knowledge, wisdom, and experience. And I want to just get right into this. I don't want to talk too long about it because today we want to talk, I want to talk to you about how to monetize your services as a freelance writer. Now, before you go off, um, I get that we haven't actually talked about the technical aspects of becoming a freelance writer yet, but what I don't want to do is teach you how to write and then not teach you how to monetize that service. So in this third video, in the series, I want to talk about how you how you can monetize your services as a freelance writer. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to get into this whole thing. It's going to be useful. It's going to be helpful. And I'm trying to be um, I ain't going to try to be quick. I'm lying, but I will try to be funny and entertaining. OK, so. Let's talk about this thing here, how to secure the bag. And you see me with another beautiful wig. Love my love my Amazon wigs. Um, so let's talk about it. Okay, so how do you set your rates as a freelance writer? How do freelancers get paid? Now, there are typically three ways that freelance writers will get paid. You can either, I'm sorry, I'm saying that wrong. I'm just the wrong language. How do you set your rates and how do you charge your clients? Like how do you, how do you um, price services for your clients? You're not getting paid. Let's get out of the, get out of the um, nine to five, I'm employed lingo. So this is the way that you can set set rates for your um, for your freelance writing service. The first way is a flat rate per project. Now that is a really great way to price your services if you're writing short articles, which are typically under about 1500 words or so. If you're writing articles for repeat clients so that you know, you basically know going into every job what, what the client is gonna expect. Um, so you can, you can price your services based on the value that you provide or the expectation of the client. Um, for ongoing projects, uh, I think of these as like, where you're doing similar content for um, maybe a larger project, you know, you might it, it might not be the same same client necessarily, but it might be it might be the same client, but it, it might just be something that's gone on and on and on, or maybe you're writing through an agency or whatever, and and the agency actually has different clients, so you can have a flat rate per project there, and then content packages, and we'll talk about that later in this video. Um, content packages are when you have add-on services that you add to your freelance writing service and price it as a, a bundle, like a bundle of services. The next way is pricing per word. This is a really popular way to do it. Um, pricing per word is a great way to um, price your price your services if you are creating long form articles. Long form articles are typically seen as articles that are over two to 3,000 words. Um, they typically take a longer time to research, a longer time to write. I always tell our writers that the average article that you're going to write for us takes about 10 hours to research and write. Um, those articles, like I said, are usually over 2000 words long. So if you're pricing per word for long form articles, let's say you're pricing, um, it's gonna take you eight hours to do an article and you've priced your services at 20 cents per word and you're delivering 2000 words, then you just made 400 bucks that day, right? The next way is the price per hour. Um, price per hour, I have some challenges with. Um, for a freelance writer, uh, or anytime you're in a position where you're getting better and better at your job, the, if your if your rate per hour stays the same, that means you get for every every um like for every unit of measurement or whatever that you're getting better at delivering um, on the result or you're getting more efficient, you're making less money for a better value. Like you're, you're making less money to deliver a better value. 
And so there is an inherent flaw for, for freelancers in pricing per hour, because unless you're doing something that's pretty redundant, like, you know, maybe you're doing some admin stuff or you're making some phone calls or you, you know, inputting data, data or whatever the case may be, something that you're kind of going to, you might sooner hit a Um, for every, like, at the, I'm saying this all twisted up, but the better you get at your job, the less money you effectively make at your job when you're pricing per hour. Still, I do have, I do have writers who price their services per hour. Now, typically when you're pricing per hour, you're pricing based on how long it's going to take you to do something. So, like I said before, if it's going to take you eight to 10 hours to, to write a blog post or five to 10 hours, then, then you're going to be pricing per hour. Maybe let's say you're doing 20 bucks an hour, 25 bucks an hour for 10 hours of work. That's $250, right? So you, you, you want to price per hour. Just keep in mind that you may need to change the way that you price your services because as you get better and better at delivering on your um, delivering on your promise or you know like de delivering articles you will effectively be making less and less money and then the other issue with pricing per hour is you only have so many work hours a day so you have a natural built-in ceiling that you can't get beyond when you price per hour okay so individual articles related content services and content packages so Per word, on average, the average freelance writer um, that I've come across, including me, when I do freelance writing jobs, are pricing at 20 cents to 50 cents per word. Now, just for clarity's sake, these are not journalism. Like, we're not talking about journalistic content. We're not talking about stuff that goes in newspapers. We're just talking about stuff that goes on websites. Typically, journalists make um, much more money than that for, for the jobs that they, for, for the content that they produce. Um, they are in the one to two to three to four to five dollars a word area. But for the purposes of what I'm talking about, writing content for websites or businesses who, who need content written for their websites, you're going to be pricing at 20 to 50 cents per word. I will add one caveat, like one disclaimer. Now, when you're first starting out, you are literally not like your skill set is probably not going to be worth 20 to 50 cents per word. So it may be wiser for you when you're building your portfolio, when you're learning the business, when you're trying to increase your writing speed, when you're trying to become an effective writer, when you're trying to figure out where the best places are to go to get the right research that can be trusted. It may be wiser for you to price your services at a lower rate. OK, there's nothing wrong with that, because as the great late great Jim Rohn said, you know, like climbing, you're climbing the corporate ladder. You're supposed to be climbing the ladder. It's not a bed, it's a ladder, right? So you're going to get better and better and you're going to charge more and more. But when you're first starting out, it's okay to not be pricing at the, the top of your game because you're not at the top of your game and that's okay. All right. The, the next way that you can charge is per hour. And that's like, typically I've seen, I, this slide is about a year old, but typically I've seen freelance writers at this point charging between 18 and 50 bucks an hour, depending on their, depending on how skilled they think they, they are. Um, and I found that a lot of times these rates are reflective of how you feel, like, you know, how good you feel you are instead of how good you actually are. So I'll say that to say that oftentimes people of color will price themselves a lot lower than um, than than white writers, and that that's just the reality of it. And that's that's cool. But I just want to make sure that when you are setting your prices, you're pricing it based on the value that you can provide in your skill set, and just make sure you're not pricing it based on how you feel about yourself. Okay. Now, the average blog post or average article that you're going to write for the web will be about 1,200 words. So when you're thinking about Price, setting your prices. Um, think about that. You're going. To, you're talking about 1,200 words. So if you're pricing per word, you know that you're talking about. Um, and that's that's like an average blog post. You're talking about five to ten hours of work for research and writing time. Um, and if you're doing long form content, like on for the one of the blogs I manage, all of our content is pretty much long form content. There are very few pieces of content on our site that are under 2,000 words. So if you're doing long form content, also keep that in mind. Because remember before I was saying like, you're doing long form content, you can price per word. And if you're pricing per word at what, um, 20 cents a word, you know, even on the bottom, the bottom of the scale, you'll be pulling in $400 a day if you are, um, if you're actively like working, you know, that day on, on an article. So really you could bring in, you could do one article a week, one long form article a week and add $1,600 a month to your income. You know what I mean? And that's not hyperbole. That's pricing. That's pricing on the low end. Just one long form piece of content per week. All right. So, 
Um, another thing that, that I always tell freelance writers to do, and I'm a big proponent of this myself, is to get um, additional training. It's not hard in the digital world to get training. Um, Google, I mean, we all Google things, right? We Google things to find to find restaurants, to find Thai restaurants, to find out where I can buy some sea moss or <laughs> where I can buy Thai IC or whatever. We Google stuff all the time. Where everything that shows up on Google was created by a content creator and put on a website. So there is a such thing as a Google Analytics certification. Google Analytics is a dashboard that Google provides for every website. Every single website has Google Analytics. And it basically tells the owner of that website or the business owner how well their content or how, how, well, how well the pages on their website are performing. So let's say you are working with a restaurant and they want to, they want to make sure that they have pages for, um, for their drinks, Thai iced tea or whatever. Um, Google Analytics would actually be able to tell that restaurant if anybody is finding them when they type in the words Thai IC near me. I'm, I guess I'm going to move for Thai IC. Or when they're typing in Pad Thai near me, but, you know, Google Analytics will tell them if they're able to find that. Most business owners don't know how to read Google Analytics. It takes some time to learn it, but it only takes a few hours to learn it, is what I'm telling you as a writer. So you could literally take an afternoon and get a certification in Google Analytics just on a Saturday afternoon while your kids are outside playing, right? Um, another good resource for getting for upskilling yourself is SEM Rush or SEM Rush. SEMrush is a, a digital analytics tool that analyzes website traffic, analyzes keywords, pulls in information from your Google and from your Google Analytics, and tells you how your website as a business owner is performing in comparison to your competitors, in comparison to other people who are in your industry. Um, SEMrush is a fantastic tool. I actually use it at work and I use it in my personal business. Um, but what I'm telling you about this for is because SimRush has a host of free training tools that you would be able to use. Hang on, sorry about that. Stand in the call, right? Okay, a host of free training tools that you can use to upskill yourself. So if you wanna know about SEO, SEO, we'll talk about that later, search engine optimization. It's, it's a way of creating content so that it can be found, so that these web pages can be found by Google. If you want to know about competitor analytics, if you want to know about um, different marketing techniques, or if you want to know about digital marketing or you know doing Google paid ads or Facebook paid ads, there are training um, opportunities in that you can find in SimRush, SimRush Academy, for free. And a lot of these training opportunities actually have certification programs that you can take as well. Another one is HubSpot, another fantastic tool. It is a, called a marketing automation tool or CRM. I promise you we'll get to that. I'm not going to leave any gaps in your knowledge. We will, get, we will get to these types of tools later, and I'll tell you what each one of them does. HubSpot Academy is a fantastic, another fantastic way for you to get free training and to upskill um, without any, it, I'm promising you like this stuff, will, it'll just take you a couple hours on a Saturday afternoon or a couple hours after work or a couple hours before the kids get up. And you can actually be cert, become certified in different digital marketing techniques. Now, here's why, here's the reason why I'm telling you about this kind of stuff. Because as a free, freelance writer, if you, if you saw my first video, we went through some data and saw that over 50% of businesses that need freelance writers and content creators don't, like either have one person on their team trying to create all the content or they have nobody on their team. So there's a wide open market for you to step in and become a freelance writer. But not only that, most businesses need more than just a writer on the team. They need social media, they need keyword research, they need blog to audio, all this kind of stuff, all these different ways that they need their content to, to kind of show up. Because, And I'm saying this because like, um, not a lot of people are reading articles these days. So the content that you write for a client, you need it's, it's smart for you to have built into your pricing different ways that you can repurpose that content. And by repurpose, I mean just put it in another kind of format so that people who don't read articles can still get the information. So for me, I listen to a lot of podcasts. So if um, um, in order for me to get that podcast information, the publication will have had to put their articles in audio form for me. Um, some people prefer video. So that means the publication will have had to put the same content 
and the same article information from that article in video form in order for other people to consume it. So these are services that are smart for you to bundle with your writing service. And I will show you um, how you can do that easily without learning a bunch of new skills. Now, so the first is social media, right? Because you want to be able to to um, help people to engage with a company on social media. And, and sometimes you're even gonna um, put information from different articles on social media. Keyword research, keyword research is tied to SEO and Google Analytics. Keyword research means finding out what people are actually typing into Google when they're looking for certain stuff and making sure that you're creating the content for your client in a way that includes those words, those queries that they're putting in. Blog to audio. I have a tool that does that. I think the tool cost me 20 bucks, maybe 50 bucks or whatever. Anyway, there's a way for you to do it. Convert to PDF. Again, another way for you to do that. Infographic research, blog to video, email to promote an article. That's basically after you write an article and put it up, you send out an email to the company's subscribers, letting them know that the article is there and putting a link to the article in the email. Upload to site and proofing and editing. Now, um, upload to site may be like, what? Okay, so whenever, as a freelance writer, whenever you write a piece of content, usually you're gonna send it back to whoever hired you so that they can be a second set of eyes on it. They'll be proofreading and editing the content and then they typically will upload that content to their website themselves. But if you upload it to the site for them, add all the pictures in, and all they will have to do is basically proofread, edit it, and publish it, that's an add-on service and you will be able to charge for that service. So infographic research, a lot of content, oh, you know what, I actually have an infographic in here. Let me show you an example of an infographic. There we go, baby. Infographic research. Okay, so in order to create this chart, I had to do some research. The, I, I researched this information with an organization called Content Marketing Institute. So these are infographics. And so I pulled, me pulling this information is the actual research. So like me going and checking the different, asking the right questions and checking the different sources to see where I can find the numbers, like the percentages of companies that use blogs or emails, that's infographic research because the research that I did is what's going in this infographic. And that is, um, that is a service that you can provide as well. I'm not going to assume that you know anything about design, otherwise I would have just put infographic there. But for sure, if you're a writer and you're a good writer, you're pretty good at research, right? Um, so that's just, that's it for tonight. I really just wanted to show you these things, like just so that you can understand that there are, um, there are ways for you to be able to um, do value ads for your content writing services. I hope this, this, this has been useful for you. I will try to continue, not try, I will continue to make these videos. Um, and then as well, I am opening up an opportunity for you to be able to um, just learn the technique of writing. I'll work shoulder to shoulder with you. We'll do live sessions so you can ask questions. You'll be able to write articles or, you know, like, take on freelance you know, jobs for maybe the first month or two, not for the rest of our lives, honey, not for the rest of our lives, honey. But like for the first month or two, I, I can be a second set of eyes and, and make recommendations on how you can make content better. Um, I would like to be able to provide that for you. It is, um, I'm not gonna do it for free though, but it's not gonna be expensive. So I don't know if you're not in the area, you may not know that XL Church Worldwide in Congress, Georgia burned down. That is my home church. So I am charging people $25 to enter into this training. It is not this stuff. It includes this stuff that I'm that I'm saying doing for free, but the actual intensive writing workshops, not workshop, that's so old, that's so 1980s. I might as well have said a seminar. Anyway, but the but the writer, the writer training, the writer boot camp is going to happen in a private Facebook group. You get access to that by private Facebook group by enrolling, and it's going to be $25 to enroll. You pay once, you stay forever, and it's a is a it's a new community so there's no one in there right now like ooh, ooh, ooh. but that's what the offer is um and i'll be like putting out ads and stuff about that in the next couple of days but yeah so if you want to do that please you can just message me i'm surreal i mean obviously surreal brand um and if you want to join this community you would just go to uh wish i had a way to type this my pastor would be so like he'd be like uh you should really have it in there with a QR code. That's what he will say. <laughs> Is it Rebuild Excel Church? Honey, let me show you this website. Okay. Um, let me show you the website. That's out here just doing the most right now. So it's rebuildxlchurch.tv. Is it rebuild or rebuilding? Uh oh. Is it rebuild or rebuilding? 
times, rebuilding, rebuilding, xlchurch.tv. You can see these pictures. Oh, when I tell you I cry, ooh, it's hard to even look at these pictures without getting off. Been out of shape. We are in our, like, we have a, a facility behind us that has a gym. So we are actually having service in the gym. But this was heartbreaking. It was devastating. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you read the Bible and you, like, you can't really relate to, you know, the, to the temple being sacked or there being strangers in the temple or this hurt me to my core. So if you want to take this course, um, and uh, if you want to take this course, you can take the course, do some good. Just go to rebuilding xlchurch.tv, um, click to contribute, take a screenshot of your um, your receipt for your contribution, and I will let you in the course. Of course, you can also PayPal me. That's fine. I'm not, I mean, I ain't gonna say no to the money because yay money. But I'm only charging $25. And I know I, I've been to that place where $25 is a stretch. I've been to that place where I had to scrape up to get the $37 I needed for a course about writing or whatever. So I'm not trying to break you, but I do want to make sure that you have some skin in the game so that as I'm spending my time showing up for these like live trainings or whatever, like I'm not in there by myself and, you know, we can make sure that we get the work done um, in a timely manner. And please just only, only if you want to donate, donate. But if you don't want to join the course or whatever, that's fine too. But I'm asking you to just, 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 commit to doing the work once you get there. And um, you'll be glad you did. So again, rebuilding xlchurch.tv. That's how you can donate. Um, and if you donate the $25, take a, a screenshot of the receipt. I will let you in the course. It's not a problem. Or if you want to send the money to me, you can go to paypal.me slash ribstone. Some of you know me as ribstone. Growing up, my name is ribstone. All right. So this is uh, how my little landing page looks. It's nothing fancy. It doesn't need to be fancy for $25. I'll tell you that. <laughs> but we're going to get the job done. So I hope this has been useful for you. Tell your friends about it. Tell your mama now. She probably needs something else to do too anyway, like in her retirement or whatever. Um, and I, I wish you well. God bless you.